Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and we've got some awesome announcements this week including AI powered health data masking, Elastic MapReduce now allows you to block public access, Elastic Container Service now supports per container swap space, Site to Site VPN now supports digital certificates and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. AI-powered health data masking is an amazing new solution which helps healthcare organizations identify and mask healthcare data either in text or images. And this is great for organizations handling sensitive healthcare data. And this is a solution that you can deploy using a ready-made CloudFormation template, which deploys an API gateway endpoint and also uses artificial intelligence services like Amazon Comprehend Medical to detect healthcare data within text and Amazon Recognition to identify text within an image. Elastic MapReduce now supports block public access configuration. And if you haven't used MapReduce before, it's a fully managed big data service. And this new feature enables administrators to secure their Elastic MapReduce clusters. And basically it prevents you from using a security group which allows unrestricted public access when launching a new cluster. And it's really easy to configure. Just check a box in the console and the settings apply on a per region basis. Elastic Container Service now supports per container swap space. And if you haven't used ECS before, it's a fully managed container orchestration service, which allows you to run Docker containers in the cloud. So you can now control the use of swap space on a per container basis and swap space is used to increase the amount of virtual memory available on a system by moving inactive pages in memory onto swap space located on disk. And it works really well for applications with varying memory requirements. So this means that you can now control each container's swap configuration, even if those containers are running on the same EC2 instance. Site2Site -Site VPN now supports digital certificates. And if you haven't used Site2Site -Site VPN before, it's a network connection which allows your VPC to communicate with your on-premises network. So the digital certificates are used for authentication and you can use AWS Certificate Manager to manage and deploy your certificates. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was B. And the person with the best answer is Rizwan Ghazal. And I hope I said that correctly. And Rizwan is a systems administrator from Lahore in Pakistan. So congratulations to Rizwan. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt sticker and hand signed card on their way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2020. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forum. And that is all from me. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and we'll see you next time.